Alright, welcome back to Nick Langes Comic Corner, the classic lesson known known classics. This episode is number 2725 and double number 2619. We have two, like, books but for Batman featuring various two different uh, artists, per se. Uh, first up we have is Legends of Dark Knight by Jose Lu Luis Garcia Lopez. This book collects. And this might surprise you. Joke the Joker, number four. The first one, not, not the James Aaron. Detective Comics. 454, 458, 459. Batman Hamlet, number three. Uh, Batman 272. Well, it's fine. It's 244, 255, 258. Bram Bow, 164, 171. Uh... DC Comics 31, Batman 336, 337. DC Comics presents uh, 41, uh, Batman 353, Reign of Terror, Goth Knights 10, Batman Confidential 26, 28, and the Batman 6 last episode. Uh, books I'm skipping over uh, Goth Knights number 10, I discussed the book already, the Batman Confidential issues, and lost in the last episode of Batman. The Joker one. Now, by the way, the writers of these of these um, stories here are Elliot S. Megan, David Vern Reed, Martin Barrio, Bob Haney, Danny O'Neill, Jim Matias, Jerry Conway, Roy Thomas, Mike Derrick Burr, Al Burnett, Nazil De Phillips, Christian Weir, Lee Ween, Harlan Ellison. The other artists in this book are uh, Vince Kalia, Ernie Can, Ernie Chan, Murphy Anderson, Dan Atkins, uh, Frank Carmen, Dick Giordano, Steve Mitch, 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 uh, Mitchell, uh, Frank Milligan. Uh, Kevin Newland and Joe Perito. The cover is not what the guy we're talking about here. First up we have is The Joker, number four. Yep. First book he worked on is The Joker. It's a book that guest stars Green Arrow. Yeah, he kidnapped basically Laurel, Laurel Lance. Actually, Dinah Lance. I think it'll be. Yeah. And they also collected this issue in a trade for Black Canary. Hmm. That might be something to discuss later. Yeah. I might save that for later. Alright, so... Uh, as for the other books here, now I'm skipping over in here Batman 3 because I discussed that issue already. And like I also mentioned, skipping over the Gotham Knights, the one I mentioned in the last episode. Uh, 454, the setup caper. Yeah, this is mostly put just uh, Batman. Trying to catch one guy. Well, actually, it's, it's mostly by him catching the wrong guy. Eventually, catches everyone later. Uh, then we jump to Batman 272, the Auto Olympics of 1976. This is just a no backup story. Of this one, just a Drago Batman issue. It's Batman doing participating in the Olympics. Uh, well, the other one version. It's basically gangs are trying to kill Batman. That's most of what this issue is. Then we have 458 and 459. Where. It's mostly, but this is the real. This is the one where. Where people think it's. It's basically people trying to kill Batman. And. Well. They, they kill people and put Batman in Batman costume. Uh, the very next issue. Is. Well, just here with some one-shot character. I like the artwork, though. Uh, now, basically, the world's finest issues in here are just team-up stories between Batman and Superman. First, with 244. Well, actually, at this point, it's a multi-feature book. There's a story here for Superman Batman, Black Canary, Green Arrow, Vigilante, and Wonder Woman. Uh, 
the, it's basically coming from the opening story of the book. I'm not reading the whole story, just reading the whole thing. It's mostly with time travel. Yeah, also, basically, in, I heard about this. Uh, it's been a long time about this. Apparently, in the Bronze Age, uh, Batman and Superman, half the time, written where they do not get along with each other at all. And the reason? Uh, no real explained reason for it. So, the, sex, well, the second one we have here is Does We Know Our Batman For Me? It just. I think this is the one where. Because I heard about this one issue here. I think it was this issue particularly where he he gets pulled off being anchor uh, by Morgan Edge because he reported on a story he wanted to report on. Yeah, apparently he wanted he, like like the whole thing. With this one is that Morgan Edge wanted to report on a bank robbery. He thought it was more important to report on this than the Presby in town. Yes, seriously. Instead of firing him, he just pulled him off to do a small town type of thing. Yeah. As for two fifty eight. The Curse of Krypton. This is mostly what Batman turned into a, a werebat. Yeah. Then we have the two Brave and Bold issues, 160 and 171. I think I've discussed this already, maybe. It's basically Batman Team with Hawkman to solve Red Museum. Jamie Tias is the writer for this issue. Uh, a cannon for Batman. This is a Batman team with Scalp Hunter. There's a backup feature book, so it won't be exactly a full review for this one. Because it's featured Nemesis. Yeah, it's mostly put Batman time travel back in time. And fighting the Confederate Army. That's cool. Uh, 131. The Deadly Show on Earth. I think I discussed this already. Yeah, I think I did. So, skip. Okay. Um... 336, 337 for Batman. It's most of this one just. Uh, we have the first appearance of a character named Monarch of Menace. A guy who thinks he's a king. And he's. Uh, he only appeared twice. Yeah, his next appearance actually being in an issue of Batman. Uh, Davey was in Batman. He, the last appearance was in 350. No, this is the... I don't think he returned out of this one. Oh, he did. Uh, he did return in Prime Earth. Yep, he did. And the whole thing, Harley Quinn, Villain of the Year stuff. Yeah, he's a minor villain. And this issue is written by Roy Thomas. Barbara Skins. Oh, uh, we have the final appearance in here of a character called Bouncer. Yeah, the Seth was his last appearance. First appearance was in 347. Clue Math and Spellbinder are also here, too. Mm -hmm. Now, as for 337, this features a Robin. Uh, There's also the Robin Mechanism we were discussed already in Showcase Presents. Uh, actually, I think it was in. Um, I think it was in, on Bronze Age Omnibus. Uh, this mostly put you know, Batman take on Snowman. A Yeti creature. Who appeared once after this in 522 to the comics. They're thinking, okay. Uh, not bad issues per se. Um, 41. Yeah, it does feature a one backup feature. Not sure what we got one for. Bold New Rex One Or. Yeah, this one is mostly put Superman team up with. Uh, he's basically just team. Up, it's basically him and the Joker, where we deal with the final appearance of the Earth One version of the prankster, Oswald Loomis. 
Yes. But that's the last appearance of the original version of the character. Yes, he would return after this post-crisis. And sue at volume 2, number 16. Oh yeah, and he was also a villain in Kyle Higgins' uh, Nightwing book. Except his last laugh. Which, uh, it'll collect us the opening server this one. It's Batman, it's, uh, Batman taking up the Joker for an issue. Yeah, I, I might discuss the Air 2, Air two stories in here in another time. Uh, as for the Air stories in here's book, uh, last book says is Reign of Terror. It's basically, what if Batman fought in the Crusades? Yeah, and that's pretty much the whole thing in a nutshell. Uh, I like the artwork of these issues. The stories are okay. I'm going to give the book roughly a 9 out of 10. Actually, no, we have 8.5. Next up we have is a trade that for some reason only reads one volume of this one. We have Tales of the Batman by Don Norton. This book collects Batman 305. Three oh five, three oh six, set the comics four eighty, uh, and four eighty three to four ninety seven. Brave and Bold one fifty three, one fifty six, one sixty five, and Batman three twenty eight. Yeah, and by the way, for the comic issues, these are the opening stories for a lot of these issues. Batman three oh five and three oh six. Now his story is actually the. Um, yeah, his story is actually second story of this one. Uh, Ring Me Dead. It is mostly put just... Batman dealing with some, some telephone murder. Uh, 306, The Murder of Miss, Mrs. Batman. Excuse me. This is kind of similar story. Well, this one, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, quite, it's a quick two-parter. It doesn't really go anywhere at all. Uh, 480, The Perfect Fighting Machine. This, mostly put, is just Batman dealing with Dr. Moon. Yes, a character who made his debut a little prior to this one. Uh, he got killed with Manhunter, believe it or not. Yes, he did. Uh, don't know the reason why for that, but he did. Mm -hmm. This was not technically... I think this was his return to the comics at this point. Yeah, it was only like his possible second or third appearance. Yeah, he's just uh, not big of a character per se. But the issue itself is quite interesting. 483. Curse of Crime Alley. Oh, this is, yeah. This, this one here. Yeah, I think this was the issue that debuted in the name primarily. Come on, stupid mouse. It just mostly put just... Uh, the whole thing was one's first appearance in Maxi Zeus. Yep. Which I think this I think is this is a multi-issue storyline with him. Yeah. Maxi Zeus, the guy who thinks he's Zeus from Greek mythology. Yeah, and this is a two-part story, and then it continues in four eighty-six. And for 491, he appears in. Yeah, Torments of Batman. Uh, 485, Vengeance 
The Finchens Vow. Uh, this book is sadly the death of Batwoman. Yep. And she remained dead for some period of time. If you're curious, how long... By the way, she got killed by the League of Assassins. She remained dead until Grant Morrison decided to revive her in Batman Incorporated Volume 6, where they made her Batman's first love and his legal aunt. Yes, also unintentionally making her the lesbian Batwoman's aunt as well. Yes, seriously. And she also found an organization spiral. Yeah, weird stuff here. Uh, now as for Rissa to come issues, uh, first the Pearls of Sargis. This is mostly put deal with a League of Assassin stuff. Yeah, there was a guy called the Sensei in 488. It's Return of the Spook. Yeah, he returns to the shoe. Because he can. And he's only here for one issue. And he does not return until 526. And then we have a Batman and Bronze Tiger story. Yes, written by Bronze Tiger's co creator Daniel Neal, where I take on the Sensei. The Sensei is Razago's father. Yes, which makes him Damien's great grandfather. And this is a multi issue story because of 485. It doesn't finally conclude until like 490. That's the whole thing with him. Mm -hmm. As many issues in here, the riddler, the riddle of Greek, Greek, of, uh, Greek of Fleece. Yeah, you're thinking, oh, it's it, yeah, it's, it's Max Zeus' story. You think the riddle from the Golden Fleece? You think it's a riddler story? Nope, it's Max Zeus. Yes, Max Zeus. Just cause, uh, basically for four ninety two, they collect two stories. It's basically a two part story. He was a guy named General Scar. Who... Yeah, he's just a criminal who just appears here. He, he appears as two-part story, and then he returns. In Wallace Finest. Yeah, apparently he's like an enemy of Batgirl. And then, uh, 393. Riddles in the Dark. Is it a real story? Yes, it is. With a single appearance of a guy called the Swashbuckler. Yeah, who is this guy? He's Vigilante's nephew. Yes, seriously. Uh, Greg Sands. Crime Doctor calls at midnight. Yep, the Crime Doctor. Yes. Who, yeah. yeah. He is, in fact, Rupert Thorne's brother. No, I'm not kidding about that. He seriously is. He's a doctor. He's criminal. That's most what he is. He's here just for... Just cause. Then 495. Murder in Quicksilver. Yeah, Crime Doctor Pierce is here too. Just cause. He himself is only here at 495. He's done. He's been here for quite a while, but... Then we have 496, Murder on the Mur Mystery Ship. Yeah, Batman solves a murder on the ship. Which, uh, they apparently have death of the Basil Carla Clayface in this issue. Yeah, he's brought back for this issue. Uh, the Earth 1 version of the character. Yeah, after last appeared back in Batman 208. Make it return first time in 11 years just to have the guy die. And then we have a new Clayface, John Krilliger. But like the original is a serial killer. And he was never seen ever again. They didn't mention he's basically a forgotten Clayface. Yeah. Bad Night Baja. That's the opening story of 497. Uh, by 495, all, with the exception of Batgirl, all the other backup stories were discontinued at this point in time. 
Iran fights a guy called the Squid. He himself didn't really appear very much at all. His experience after this being 357, 358 of Batman. Now, as for the brand bold issues, first starting with the murder of machines. This is basically Batman team with a red tornado. To take out some robots for 156. We have Batman team with Dr. Fate. And it's all about dealing with corruption in the police department, presume, uh, presumably at this point. Now you have 165 prescription for tragedy. Batman team with a man bat. I think it's more scientist. And finally, 328 Batman, which of course uh, this book collects the opening story for this one, not the open. It collects the the backup story, which is Commissioner Gordon one. Cool. I'll probably review the uh, the, the opening story in Terra's Marvel Woman Volume One, mm -hmm. which uh, that's gonna be interesting to discuss for that one when I get to it. Yep. Uh, I found that new ones were a little more interesting than the uh, Jose Garcia Lopez issues. Uh, I'm going to give this book roughly a 9 out of 10. So that's pretty much it for a view. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications, and do not hit dislike button. Next up, Mashugu Tensai. Bye.